So continuing the same example from before, uh, we're going to look at part C now. So part C, the customer decides to adjust the monthly repayment uh, and what amount is needed then to keep the original number of repayments. So they still want the loan paid off after the normal amount of time, but what they want to do is they want to change the amount that they're paying. So they want to change this PMT amount. This one we've got to do a little bit more thinking here. So this is, and of course because part C comes after part B, uh, we can assume that part B has happened. So for part C, the number of payments still to be made if they want the original number, we've already had three years, so it's going to be two years left, which is 24 months, 24 payments. The interest rate, now that's changed. The new interest rate is 14.5 or 14.5%. Present value of the loan, that's something that we've got to figure out here. That has changed. The present value of the loan is the loan at the beginning of this time period. So at the beginning of this 24 months. Well, at the beginning of this 24 months, the value of the loan is going to be this, 1890.09. So what, what we found in part B. Once again, because it's still a loan, 1890.09 is our present value. Payment, that's what we don't know. Future value, we still want to pay off the loan, so it's back down to zero. And PPY, CPY is still 12. So we're going to update once again our CAS uh, with those values. So two years left, N is 24, or 2 times 12. Interest rate is 14.5. Present value 1890.09 and notice once again I've taken this value rounded to the nearest cent uh, because that's what our bank statement would say. Payment we don't know. Future value is zero so our payment uh, over the next 24 months will have to be $91 and 20 cents approximately. So again, rounding to the nearest cent, the answer for part C is 91.20.